everybody. Welcome to the Food Rebel Eats podcast. I'm Jody, and I'm here to teach you the truth about food. Understanding how my body works, how food works, and how we actually have all the power to create the health and the bodies that we want has changed my life. So I'm here to make this so simple, so clear, and to help you have complete certainty that you can have the healthy body that you deserve. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Food Rebel Podcast. So I'm sitting in my kitchen. I just took the kids to daycare and um, this, these three words keep coming through my head and I want to talk to you about I want to talk to you about this message and how it really applies to any actions that you're taking for and through your health and your body. And it's the biggest game changer. It's literally the biggest game changer. And I thought about making a post or an Instagram story or an email, but I thought for what we're going to talk about, I really want you to hear my voice because you can you, you can hear how somebody feels through their voice, can't you? So let me tell you what we're going to talk about, and then I'll give you a little bit of background, okay? So let's just go right into it. So the words that have been coming through for me and you, all of us, are get your energy up. And I just realized that's four words. <laughs> so... <laughs> I can't count, but whatever. Okay, so get your energy up. So what this means in terms of health and your body is that it's all about the state of being that you're in, okay? And states of being are everything. And I wanted to keep talking more about this because to me, when I can like contextualize what state of being I'm in, I know what's going to happen from there. Okay. So a state of being is an accumulation of the thoughts you're thinking and the feelings you're feeling about a certain subject. So I'm envisioning it sort of as like a bubble that's surrounding you. And so when you're in a certain state of being, everything you're in this bubble and everything happens from within this bubble. So let's give an example. If you're in a state of being of, I'm so tired, I'm so tired. Oh my gosh, I need more sleep. I feel lethargic, or maybe you aren't really saying that word, but I feel tired. I feel drained, whatever the words are. And from within that state of being, so it's a state of mind, but it's also within your body because your thoughts are going to produce feelings that are going to be felt within the physical body. So if you're claiming to be in a state of tiredness, everything you do, you're going to carry the energy of tiredness with you and through it. So you could wake up in a state of I'm so tired and you're getting your kids ready for the day or you're going to the gym or you're going to work and you're like, I'm so tired, I'm so tired. And so the whole day you just feel tired. It has to be this way, right? You can't you can't have a different outcome than the state of being you are in, okay? So one thing I just mentioned, right? I said, if you were to go to the gym. So the reason that I want to talk to you about this is because I'm doing this light and lean boot camp, and we're doing the kickoff pre-work part of it starting tomorrow, which is Thursday from when I'm recording this. So April 21st is when it starts. So if you want to join, I will put the link below. It's on my website also, or you can just message me. Um, It's two weeks and it's $50. It's going to be so good. Okay, so many times when it comes to getting lean, and yes, we're talking about weight loss, but I don't even like 
the terminology of weight loss. I like, I like focusing more on the desire. So what you want instead, right? You want to be lighter and leaner. You want to be slimmer and trimmer. You want to be long and lean, those things, right? Because when you focus on weight loss, you're just looking at this thing that I want to lose, which is kind of backwards, right? Um, and it feels heavy. And so it's it's really about focusing. And what happens when you are in the state of being or the state of mind where you want to f- lose weight, guess who you're being? So you're obviously thinking thoughts like, I really want to lose this weight. Gosh, I need to lose this weight. I hate this weight. Uh, gross. I'm so frustrated about this weight. I want to lose this weight. Okay. Those are thoughts. Now, what do you feel like in your body saying those things? To me, it feels like annoying, frustration, pissed offedness, kind of angry, or you could also go maybe into like sad, depressed, bummed out, hopeless. You could fall anywhere on the spectrum, right? But the point is, when you're talking to yourself through your life, through your day, through your weeks, from the state of, I want to lose weight, you are not in the correct state to lose weight. Okay. This is, this is what so many people need to, to hear so that you can actually make the movement work. Okay. So if you, just like I said, if you're in the state of being, I'm so tired. Okay. Do you think you could go for a run and have an energized experience? No, you cannot. Unless you allowed the movement to change your mind. And that's kind of one way to approach it, which I'm going to talk more about. So you can also do something in the physical world. You can take an action that makes you feel differently, or you can just address your mindset, right? You could, instead of making yourself go on an invigorating run to not feel tired, you could just say, hey, I don't want to feel tired today. So I'm going to change my state of mind. I'm going to change my state of being. I did get some sleep last night. At least I don't have a newborn baby that I have to feed every two hours, right? At least my five-year-old and two-year-old didn't end up in my bed kicking me in the back last night. That's what that has been happening to me, right? Um, But I just go with it now. So like, do you get what I'm saying? You have the ability to change your state doing whatever the heck you want to do, but you have to change your state if you want to get the outcomes that are held within the state. So if you ever have said to yourself, I'm doing all these things, but I'm not losing weight, your issue is your state. Okay. It's like an action or multiple actions or repeating actions that have no power. And so this message of you need to get your energy up, what it means is the whole being of you, when you're looking at this topic of losing weight or being in a different body that feels lighter, the the being of you, the state of being of you where you have that, you have that, you have that body, you have that lighter, leaner feeling inside out where it has been expressed on the outside at this point, you don't feel that feeling that we just went through where you're saying, I'm trying to lose weight. I need to lose weight. I have to lose weight. That doesn't feel good. What would, where on the energy scale would you put that? For me, frustration, um, like, bummed. That's just low, right? It's a low energy. So imagine I just said, I'm going to snap my fingers three, two, one, and you're going to be in your exact dream body and you're completely healthy and you're loving it. So one, two, three, you're there. How do you feel in your body? It's not going to be like Eeyore, like, oh man, like I'm looking outside and it's so gray. And it's like, I keep telling Dalton, 
man, the seasons got stuck because it's supposed to be spring and it's it snowed the other day, but it's kind of warmer today. And anyways, I just woke up feeling like, oh my gosh, another stupid cold gray day. And I'm not going to let it affect me because I choose my state. Okay. So what you have to see is when you want to change your body, it's very easy to succumb to the state of what you see and let what you see create how you feel. So you're seeing your body, then you're thinking, I don't like this. I don't want this. I don't like this. I need to change this. I need to try to change this. That feels bad. That feels low. That feels heavy. Hence, you're feeling heavy and you have weight to lose. Do you see how like literally perfect energy is? So the work is not to just force yourself to pretend that you're skinny when you aren't, but it's to not feel low. <laughs> and it, so part of this is about a, a process that you believe in, a process that resonates with you. And part of this is plugging in to the energy of what you want while you're working towards what you want. And you have to have this part, you guys, Otherwise, you'll just keep doing things and working hard and trying and feeling bummed, okay? So literally, it would be better if you didn't work out, but you all day long worked on your thoughts and said, I'm excited about getting in shape. I'm excited about what I'm eating today. I know I can do this. I'm going to get there. I'm finding my path. I love that I'm eating fruit right now or whatever you're eating, you know? Um, so it's moving you into the state. So like I said before, if you were tired and you went on a run and it could create the feeling of energized, same thing with your actions for food and working out to create a different kind of body shape. So you can change things you're doing with food you can lighten up the way you're eating, which is what I'm teaching you in the boot camp, like the energy of various food groups and how we infuse lightness into the body. Because I see health really multidimensionally, which means, yes, we're going to change our minds. We're going to change our mindsets, but we're also going to educate and we're going to know how things work. And then we're also going to take that knowledge of how things work and infuse it into our human self so that the 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 parts of foods that are energy are going to amplify what we do. So I hope that makes sense. So I'm like quite um, holistic and like more spiritual with the way that I see health and food and even fitness. So if you're like lugging along, going on a walk, going on a run, doing the elliptical, um, eating something that you think is healthy, but you're in the state of this isn't working or I'm not seeing results, everything starts with the thought, okay? You start to create your state from the thought. So are you in a bubble of if you're saying, I don't see results, what state are you in? I need you to see this and I need you to own it because nothing will work from there. You have to, you, you're claiming a state, you're claiming what you're creating by, but you're not knowing you're doing it. Okay. But this is how powerful you are. You could eat the most beautiful foods, the most beautiful things. You could do everything quote, right. And really the only rightness is what you believe is the right way, the right path for you, stuff you believe in. Um, but if you're doing all of it under the umbrella, under the bubble of it's not working, I don't see the results, what is going on here? Oh, I hate this. That's what you're going to get, okay? It doesn't matter if you run 20 miles. You can't outpicture a state. You can't outpicture a state. When I say outpicture, I mean you can't see in physical reality, the representation of anything other than what's inside of your mind. So all the action in the world will not move the needle on your body without both sides. 
of the equation. So what your work is, is first to become aware of what state are you in right now on this topic of getting light and lean, okay? Or getting, um, losing weight. If you can say, yeah, I'm gonna lose weight, like from the state of, I'm gonna lose weight, I'm doing this, this is done. This is not an issue for me anymore. I am not having this. I am X years, number of years old, and this will not be an issue in my life because I'm the one in charge and I decide. And now I can understand what's been happening. And now I know that my energy dictates everything. And now I know that my job every day is first before anything else on this subject, on this topic of health, my body, losing weight, being healthier is to get into the state of I'm doing this, I'm on my way, I'm having this, or I'm there, like I'm getting it, it's mine. And so you like, you don't have to be in the state of I'm perfectly fit, lean and whatever. You can, you can, but for most people, it feels like you're lying. Um, and so it doesn't, you don't, you don't keep doing it. And so whatever the thing is, you need to keep doing it. And so what we're diving into in the boot camp is understanding what's been going on. So we're looking at what do you believe about your ability to do this, your ability to lose weight? How do you think weight loss works? I'm gonna write a post on Instagram about this after I'm done here, because however you think it works, that's what you have to do. And if you don't wanna do that, then there's a problem, okay? But it, you can change any part of this. You can change your mind. You can change the rules. You can change how you feel. You could literally just get into a state of I'm losing weight without changing anything and it would work, but you'd have to hold the state. Okay? So this is how it works. And I'm so excited to help you get your energy up on this subject of weight loss because why are we making this hard? You know, one thing that has to be in place as part of your new state of mind and state of being to get what you want here is either that you start to see this as no big deal or easy or I'm, I'm capable, I can do it, everybody else can do it, I can do it. People do this all the time, every day. Weight is not a hard, heavy thing. The body's malleable, the body's so fluid, the body's just following me. I just need to be in a different state of mind and everything will work from there. So let me explain one more thing. You could do all the healthy things you're doing and not get results. And there's another state of being a state of reality where you can do everything you're doing and it would give you results. So I wanted to, to put this out here and ask you, where's your work on this? Do you need to take some actions that are going to change how you feel about your ability to get what you want? Do you need to get an attitude check? Do you need to own what you've been saying to yourself all day, every day? Or, or maybe it's not all day, every day, but if you have a body right now with extra weight that you do have a desire to let go of, what I know for sure is most of the time on this subject, you're telling the story that you haven't lost it, you're trying, you can't do it, it's not working, okay? Or it ha it's something like that. Um, it has to be that way, that's how everything works. So in the boot camp, I'll just wrap up with explaining a little bit how it's gonna work. Um, the intention is to bring in women who are wanting to create momentum, who's if you're wanting to get out of a rut, to get out of a feeling of stuck or stagnancy, to understand like what you need to do, to understand how you're powerful with what you think, your mindset, and to actually dive into these thoughts that you have about what you need to do and what it takes. So not everybody's going to be doing the same actions, but I'm going to help you define it by looking at what you've been putting out there what you expect, teaching you some truths about food, weight, metabolism, cleansing, how this actually works. I'm going to explain to you how different foods and food groups have energies and how your work is to lighten the load of the um, internal systems of the body to create a release um, of excess weight. And so you're going to 
look at what's been going on, own what's been going on, create a plan, believe in your plan, and then you're going to work the freaking plan. And so it's um, some pre-work, we have a kickoff call, and then it's 14 days after that with a group Voxer chat where every morning we are going to get into the state of what you want. Okay, so everyone's going to get into their own state of what they want. So it's a morning thing. You're welcome to chat through the day with the other people in the group. And then we'll have a check-in at nighttime as well or late or early evening. So it's basically holding you accountable to what you're thinking, feeling, and believing. And then because whatever you do from there will be correct. Um, it's the law. So, oh my gosh, that that was what I wanted to say do you need to get your energy up? You can apply this to anything else with your body as well, to things um, with health issues, um, with like for now, if if I would have known all this about fertility, I, oh my gosh, I could have changed my body so quickly. So it's so wild. Okay. So check out the boot camp. I'll link it below. I also have some one-on-one -on -one coaching options available and uh, baby body ready. And then Fueled and Focus is coming up really soon. So that's how to be a plant-based eater, lifestyle, shopping, eating, cooking, and doing all the things. Um, so lots of fun things, lots of ways to get involved. And just remember, you guys, like you, you have to make it fun. You have to see the value. You have to see how capable we are, how much power we have, how food totally supports us and to get excited about it because it's way better to know that we can do this and we have something as simple as the ingredients that we choose to put in our body to make massive change that will affect every area of your life because you're in your body in every area of your life. And so this is a big deal and let's not settle anymore. Okay. Let's have what you want from a true place of health and integrity and owning your desire as well. Okay. So I also have um, a video from my YouTube channel that I'm going to put under here. That's about, if you want it, you can have it, something like that. And it, it's referring to weight loss. So I'll link that as well. Please let me know how this landed with you. If you are listening on whatever platform, take a screenshot, share it on your stories. I'll repost you. It means so much to me. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.